guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here then hi i am nita i upload makeup skin care and beauty related videos almost every alternative day so in today's video i'm going to share with you this gorgeous traditional indian bridal look and this look can be perfect for your engagement ceremony as well as for your sangeet ceremony and i paired this look with bold red lips if you want to know how I created this look, then please keep on watching. I'm starting with my brows. For that, I'm using this Milani Eyebrow Pomade in the shade 05 Dark Brown. And I'm just filling up the sparse areas and gaps. I already shared with you my eyebrow routine. I will link that video down. And I shared so many tips and tricks for a perfect eyebrows on that video. So you can go ahead and check that out. Now with a spoolie, I'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed. Now I'm using this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C7 and I'm just cleaning up the borders and also I'm going to apply the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows. I'm just blending the concealer. Now I'm setting the concealer with some loose powder. The powder that I'm using is Bharat & Dory's Loose Powder in this shade 07. Now I'm using this dark orangish brown kind of a color and with this e.l.f. brush I'm just applying it on my crease. I mean slightly above my crease because I have hooded eyes. By the way this is Makeup Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose Palette. Now I'm taking this dark brown shade and I'm just applying it over the brown eyeshadow to intensify the color now i'm taking this light brown shade and i'm just blending out the edges i'm taking this dark chocolate brown color and with a pencil brush i'm just applying it on my crease as well as on my outer v area i'm mainly focusing on my outer v area now with a clean blending brush i'm just blending everything so that there is no harsh line now with the same concealer i'm just cutting my crease and for that i'm using a flat brush now I'm taking this dark brown color again and I'm just applying it on my outer V area because I need depth on my outer V area now I'm taking this black eyeshadow and I'm just applying it over the brown eyeshadow Now I'm just diffusing the color with my finger so that the blending becomes easier later on. I'm using this shimmery brown color. This is almost a foil eyeshadow and I'm just placing it next to the black eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this shimmery rose gold kind of a color and I'm just placing it next to the brown eyeshadow and I'm just creating a nice definition here. I'm also blending it with the brown eyeshadow at the same time. Again this is a foil eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this beautiful shimmery golden color this is almost like a glitter and i'm just applying it on my outer v area i'm going to finish my face makeup for that i'm using this pore primer by pack and i'm just priming my face for my foundation today i'm going to use this maybelline superstay full coverage foundation in the shade 220 and i'm just spreading it all over on my face with my finger then i'm just buffing it in using this real techniques beauty sponge if you use your finger first to spread the foundation then your blending becomes easier later on and all i already shared with you a full in-depth 
review of this foundation i will link that video down so that you can check that out now i'm using the same makeup evolution concealer under my eyes i am not applying a lot of concealer on my eyes because this concealer has a very thick consistency and if i apply a lot of concealer then it becomes slightly cakey i'm just blending everything out with the same damp beauty sponge Also, always uh, stare at your ceiling while uh, blending your under eye concealer. Now I'm just setting the concealer using some loose powder and I'm just setting my entire face with this equate large powder brush. Now I'm going to finish my eye makeup for that first I'm just tight lining my eyes with this Maybelline Colossal Kajal. Now I'm applying a tons of loose powder under my eyes so that if there is any fallout it can catch the fallout and I can dust it off later. Now I'm using this dark brown eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just smoking out my lower lash line. And the powder that I used is the Bharat and Doris loose powder in the shade 07. Now I'm using the same shimmery brown eyeshadow on the outer third area outer one third area and i'm just applying the rose gold color on the center and i'm applying the shimmery gold color on the inner corners basically i'm just repeating the same thing that i did for my eyelids now with this nyx eyeliner i'm just creating a nice wing here because a bridal look is incomplete without a thick winged eyeliner and i'm just dusting off the excess powder I'm just curling my eyelashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with this Wet and Wild Mega Length Mascara. For my falsies, I'm using these Adele lashes, double up lashes and now I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners using this e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Starlight Glow. And here is the complete eye look. Oh my god, I'm in love with this look. Now I'm using this Wet and Wild contour palette and I'm just carving out my face like the hollows of my cheeks, jawline, forehead, and also my nose. For my blush, I'm using this Rimmel Maxi Blush in Wild Card, I believe, and I'm just applying it on my cheeks. And I'm just highlighting my face using the same highlighter, and for that, I'm using a fan brush. I'm going to list all the products and their shades, everything in the description bar below, so please do check that out. And I'm just setting my entire face using this Wet and Wild Makeup Setting Spray. This is the Cucumber one. Now for my lipstick, I'm using this Milani Color Statement Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte Confident. And this is a gorgeous maroonish red color. And here is the complete look. I truly loved the way it turned out. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to hear your feedback. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All my social media links will be given in the description bar below. So please do check that out. So see you soon in my next video with another exciting makeup tutorial. So now, bye and take care.